Is there a specific kind of story a first-time screenwriter should write? Uh, yes. And what, what, what that story is, and, and you know, it's not that cliche, write what you know, because I've never written what I quote unquote know. I, I write fantastical worlds and, 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 uh, and, and uh, supernatural s stories and all of that. But write what you feel and write what's in your heart and write something that means something to you. And you know, I, I, I was a script reader for, God, probably a decade. And, and, uh, the, and, and I was reading seven, eight scripts a week. Uh, and the rare one was the great script. And when you found that, that was a very exciting day at the office. And sometimes the really terrible scripts were kind of, they were fun because they were so god-awful. But the ones that, that got really exhausting and really enervating is a script reader who's sitting there and has to read a script, synopsize it, write a comment about it, then pick up another one and read it. And so not, were the ones that you could tell were written by people who were looking at what last year's hit was and trying to imitate it. And uh, those were deadly. And they, were, they weren't good, they weren't bad, they were safe and mediocre. And any writer, any young writer, any old writer, anyone who's just starting to write anything, write something that you feel. Write, 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 write something that comes from the heart. And, and, and people may not think that Beetlejuice is a personal movie. It's an intensely personal movie. It was intensely personal for Michael and me. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I didn't know I had a theme until I had enough work to realize I had a theme. And almost everything I've written are about broken families who are put back together in some bizarre way. But, there, but, but because I came from a broken family. And, 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 uh, what, and, and, and so, so there, there's a, I, I like to think that my work has a sense of heart and a sense of compassion and a sense of humanity in it, no matter how bizarre it is, no matter how weird the worlds get. Uh, uh, and and you, you got you got to write something that you feel and something that, that you have some passion for, or just why do it? It's too hard. It's just it's it, 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 it's not an easy job. And and I personally can't imagine saying, well, this was a hit. Now so I'm gonna I'm gonna write my version of that. I don't really. It's not really what I care about, what I feel, but I can imitate it well enough. I, I can't imagine spending a year of your life doing that, but people do it all the time. And they usually write mediocre scripts. Is being safe something that's never appealed to you? I, 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 I don't know how in, 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 in my career and in my life. <laughs> safe, safe hasn't factored into it. And, uh, and, and uh, not not always not always the best decisions uh, maybe but I'm just I, I sort of like jumping off cliffs. <laughs>